mouth is real clammy mm. while that stuff we were drinking. Mm-hmm. On this episode of Doing the Most, we're going to try out one year old eggnog. Moment brews and various artists, everything from meat to rose. Big creation, fermentation, and ebriation, doing the most. Have you ever had one year old eggnog? <laughs> no, I've not had one year old eggnog. Uh, I have made eggnog from scratch several times, but yeah, it was consumed within 24 to 48 hours, I think. So my eggnog recipe, which you can find the link at the top of your screen, is, is for an aged eggnog, but the recommendation is to age it about six weeks, and mm. usually it's consumed within three or four months. And uh, the, the question posed in last year's eggnog video was, is it still going to be good after a year? It smells like alcohol. That's the idea. This was circa 10-1 of 18. I like the label. Yeah, I went all out. You know, I, being a graphic designer by trade, <laughs> I, <laughs> I really take a lot of pride in uh, inappropriate shelf-ready labeling. So this was bottled basically a year ago. It is the 9th of October right now, so we're about a week behind schedule. I think it's gonna be great. So it's got a... It's, Sam's coming in to check it out. It's got a caramel color to it. Right? What color was it when you put it in the bottle? Kind of an off-white. So not not that much difference. No. Oh, it's... you pulled out the Santa cups today. Yeah, it's, you know, we're entering the holiday season. The Yuletides are gay. It smells like a knob. I'll give you that. Yeah, it sm actually it smells really good. It smells like powdered sugar. <laughs> it smells like powdered sugar. All right. Cheers. Cool. Happy holidays. Indeed. It's very smooth. Yeah, actually, that's pretty good. The brandy is still a little bit forward. I figured that would have faded more. It's good. Actually. Yeah, I've read legends of people aging their eggnog for years at a time. Um, and then, you know, you can do a vertical tasting of how were, how were 2009's eggs versus 2012's eggs, you know? Well, 2018's were okay. I, I will say it's not actually a lot different from the six week old stuff. I don't know that the time and effort and electricity necessary <laughs> to keep eggnog cold for a year is really worthwhile. This, this spent a lot of time being moved from place to place in the fridge over the last year, depending on what was going in or coming out of the fridge. Uh, I can't imagine storing five quarts of it that way. So, fun fact, David doesn't like eggs and has been spending the last few years on an egg embracement journey. It's been an event. <laughs> Deviled oh. eggs? Egg salad? Uh, that's worse than anything. Egg salad is terrible. Different but eggnog's good. Different strokes. It doesn't taste like we're gonna have um, gastrointestinal distress later. It. We'll let you know if it happens. Though. Yeah, sure. We'll <laughs> post a post an Instagram update. We have a squatty potty now. Oh, perfect. So we're gonna be at Texas Mead Fest next week. Mm -hmm. It is uh, eighth or ninth year that they're doing Texas Mead Fest. We've never been, so be a first. Doesn't really matter to us what year it is. But there's a ton of meaderies and vendors participating. There's a homebrew competition that we couldn't figure out how to enter because we had to have somebody deliver the bottles. And LaGrange, Texas seems to be a little bit off the beaten path. Well, especially for us. <laughs> Particularly for us. But we're gonna go and have fun and experience mead. Yeah, we'll get, uh, I think we our tasting glass comes with eight tastes of mead. And then obviously we've been saving up to, to bring some mead back so we can do some on-camera tastings. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna be there, you should come find us and uh, hang out. We're gonna be bringing, I think, uh, a citrus traditional mead with us and some beer style meads, stuff to share. So if you wanna do a mead trade, hit us up too. Yep. <laughs> so until next time, <laughs> um, eggnog a year later is still kinda just eggnog. Good, but whatever. Eggnog. eggnog. Hit us up on Instagram or Pinterest. You can also check out our website, doingthemost.org. And that's where you'll find the eggnog recipe. And Instagram is where you'll find all of our uh, adventures next weekend. And until next time, happy brewing.